Hi guys, welcome to on Twitch TV. Hope you guys like the video and if you do, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel and I look forward to seeing you at the next one. Let me explain how this works. The new map mechanic is basically laid out so that you guys see this white line going across the middle. You guys see that tiny white line going across the middle of the map right now? That is a line of uh, snow. And the line represents the sections of north and south where the south is the safe zone and the north is the quote unquote war zone. And basically in the safe zone, you can do everything you normally could where um, you can still kill people and everything except you won't be able to loot their bodies. So for our newer players, for the people that are role playing, you don't have to worry about getting killed randomly or RDM'd and losing all your shit. Cause that's the part that feels the worst in my opinion, especially as a newer player. You stupid. So there's still going to be a lot of role playing, a lot of funny moments where people are gonna just kill people randomly for no reason, but it won't feel as bad cause you're not losing all your shit. So this over here, this is bandit camp. This is outpost. This white line going across the center is the safe zone. Like it defines the safe zone. You can't build in the war zone. You stupid. So in the war zone, you see all of the big monuments where you can go and find better loot and gear. And it's, it essentially becomes like a high risk, high reward, high reward kind of thing. You all right, so basically going into the war zone, it's like you understand that you can get killed. So that's why it's like high risk, high reward for those people that don't care about guns that don't care about like, you know, like progressing, like with weaponry, there's no need for you to go to the war zone. You have so much space over here to build. So this caters to both the people who like to PVP and also the people who don't like to PVP or the people who want to just primarily role play. And it gives the option for you to um, do both, essentially. And then we put military tunnels up here and launch site up here as far away from the safe zone line as possible. So that it's like you have to travel the farthest to get the best loot. Um, some other details you cannot build in the war zone. So you can't build like in the center right here and just farm all the monuments. That's the TLDR of how everything is working. Safe zone, war zone, high risk, high reward. Uh, there's going to be a lot of role play because everyone's going to be building in the safe zone. But there's going to be other mechanics that we are going to put in later on in the game. And like I said, we're going to be staggering progression. So day one most likely you're not going to see anyone with like an AK or, you know, maybe even an SMG. We're going to make progression, um, actual progression. So the first few days, most people are going to be using bows, uh, nail guns, crossbows, and it's going to be, it's going to be really fun to watch. You stupid. I think the other server, um, I, uh, sort of blame H June. But in the other server, there was a lot of um, <laughs> a lot of uh, speed running to higher tier guns, and this this server that's most likely not going to be possible. <laughs> Literally, first after the first day, everyone had guns. Even Saikuno was like, "I've never touched a bow in my life. I've never shot a bow before." So second server. It's going to be primarily like role play with a lot of incentivized PVP. So I think now you guys really understand what I meant in my initial tweet about the quote unquote incentivized PVP. Um, I don't think, you know, anyone would get upset on the server too much. Uh, even if there was like RDMing, it doesn't feel as bad. And yeah, the only rules that we're really setting is no mindless killing in the safe zone. Obviously we want, uh, like this goes back to being considered to, you know, your fellow streamers, your peers and stuff like no discord calls using in-game, 
voice chat for maximum uh, immersion and just trying your best to role play and being considered to everyone's content. Those are the primary rules that we are um, going to be able to do.